Hey guys, in my last video I showed you how to bundle React.js with Webpack. Now I want to show you Parcel, which is a competitor to Webpack that recently just came out and it is touting blazing fast speeds and zero configuration. So we're going to go through how to set this up and compare it to how it took to set up Webpack. Now at the bottom of their homepage, they show some benchmarks and they are saying you get double the speed uh, of Webpack, and then once Parcel caches things, it is 10 times faster than Webpack, which is insane and insanely good. So this is definitely something to look at and consider uh, when deciding what bundler to use. So let's see what it's like to set this up. So first thing we're gonna need to do is install it. So we're gonna say yarn add uh, parcel dash bundler. Now I'm gonna do this in the same um, folder and same project that I did the last uh, Webpack configuration so we can kind of compare and contrast. So after we install that, we are gonna do things slightly differently. So with Webpack, what we did is we said, hey, take index.js and turn it into bundle.js. And then in our Webpack config, we told it how to turn it into that. We said, use Babel Loader with the React preset to do that. And then in index.js, we, um, did dot slash bundle js to import this and then that's how we served our files right so this was our bundle to js now with parcel they do it slightly differently you don't need a bundle js well we will need one but we don't point our index.html at bundle js we point it at um, the pre-compiled so index.js so now index.html would not work if we served this because it's pointing at uh, advanced JavaScript or JavaScript that hasn't been compiled yet. So we need to take this and bundle it up. So what Parcel does is Parcel says, hey, tell me what HTML file you want to bundle and it'll bundle this HTML. And when it's bundling it, it also looks for any JavaScript, finds this script tag and bundles that as well. So it says, hey, look, I need to bundle this guy as well. And now we're using React, so we need to, similar to how Webpack, we use this React, or sorry, when we're using Webpack, we use this preset for React. We need to do the same thing for uh, Parcel. So we're going to be using this, and we actually could have used this for uh, the last one with Webpack, but I just forgot about it. So this, so this is the Babel configuration that Create React app uses. So we're going to use the same one because it's really nice. So we're just going to copy this. Oops. And we're just going to say yarn add as a dev dependency, Babel preset react app. And then to say to use this, we just gonna create a Babel RC file. And then here we're gonna say presets and we say which preset we want to be used. And here we want the preset is react app. All right, give that a save. And then notice how we have no configuration file for parcel. All we said was we downloaded this um, preset for React, and uh, we created a Babel RC to tell Babel what to do. Next, we just say, and we can clear this, mpx parcel, and we tell it uh, our uh, HTML file, our starting HTML file, which in this case is index.html, and that's it. We run that, and we're done. So it's going to set up a server for us automatically. We didn't have to install a, another project for that. Um, and then let's click on, oh, well, let me click on it. We could copy this and our project is serving right now at this. And it's hot reloading and stuff as we type, it'll reload and refresh. Uh, so that took five seconds. Let's look at the index.js. Let's add a bang sign and see how long it takes to recompile. 77 milliseconds, so that is a huge difference. Um, and we see there. So as you can see, the cached version is super fast with Parcel. Um, the first build looks like it took some time, but you're only ever gonna build it once, right? It had to take all the node modules. And uh, notice it generated a few files. So let's talk about what these are. So here we have a cache. That's pretty obvious, right? This is just caching. Um, this is just Parcel caching our results so that can speed up and uh, not basically bundle things it doesn't need to. But then there's also this dist folder. And what you'll notice is there is index.html 
and in our index HTML this looks very similar to our index HTML over here and uh, it's pointed at this react webpack and we can look at react webpack and we can see hey look at this this is our project and we can see it's all bundled up nice and I think it's called react webpack because that's what I call it here <laughs> it's not actually using webpack even though it says webpack there so don't be confused but notice um, now there's this dist folder so it takes your index HTML and all your JavaScript files and it puts it in a, a dist folder which is pretty nice and serves it from there so that's how parcel works and you saw how fast it was to get this set up and I really liked that and I see how fast it is to rebuild things so I'm working on a Chrome extension right now and I had to choose did I want to go with parcel or did I want to go with webpack to get things set up and I actually chose this just set up with parcel because it was so easy and nice to get this set up um, and I really liked it now with that said we're talking about webpack 3 uh, webpack 4 is coming up I don't know how you know soon it is but I've heard webpack 4 is supposed to make things um, very similar to how things are pre-configured and fast to set up similar to how parcel is right zero configuration we made did not make a configuration file look at all this stuff we had right in our config file for webpack right webpack 4 is going to try to get rid of some of this uh, bloat or not bloat but set up defaults like parcel does um, so it's faster to get your first project up and running so if you haven't and you're looking for a bundler I recommend checking out parcel because it's pretty nice but take in mind it's also very new uh, compared to webpack so it may have some bugs and some things compared to webpack that are not as flushed out but definitely keep an eye on it it is an emerging, emerging bundler which has a lot of potential so that's it for this video guys that's all I have thanks for watching